So Spider Spider is the worst <laughs> version of Solitaire that comes pre-installed on Windows. Uh, yeah. Standard Klondike Solitaire is the second worst, and then the best by far is Free Cell. There was Free Cell is the thinking man Solitaire. I've never tried Free Cell because it was always not Solitaire for me when I was younger. Yeah. Um, however, I think there was some cake making game that windows decided to put out later and that was the game that i ended up playing and that probably explains a lot about the person i am today when i free play solitaire good I just play solitary. free sell is good because every single deal is provably winnable mm-hmm. and so you're never just fucked like if oh, you, gotcha. if yeah, you, you get lose those last three and... if you lose you screwed it up but mm-hmm. from the start they're, they're pre you know the it's not random random well it is there, you get a random game, but every game that is randomly selected from is a winnable game. Like, the deck is stacked, so yeah. that it is winnable. So it's nice knowing if you lose that you're just an idiot. Gotcha. And they all have an ID number, so, like, my mom and I, like, if we're stuck on a tough one, we'll just email each other and be like, you know, I'm stuck on 41327, and then the other person will win it on their first try and just gloat about it. Nice. It's an interesting relationship. Play some free sale. I'll try it someday. Once what? I put Windows 10 on my computer. <laughs> it's on Windows 7. No, but I'm just saying it's the only... Right now I have options on Windows 7. I'm waiting for a free cell Mark 3. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard the deck leaked. Yeah. It's everywhere. <laughs> There's a King of Hearts. <laughs> no. King of Hearts remained unchanged between the different tracks. <laughs> But there's only four factions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, there's rumors well, of a fifth. Yeah, the yeah, Jokers. The Jokers, yeah. <laughs> and instructions. There actually is a five faction. Faction, Jesus. There is a five suit deck <laughs> that came out like in the 30s or something that has stars. I Blast the fifth. Me. Yeah. It was, somebody designed it for some stupid game that nobody plays because people loved card games in the 50s. People still love card games. Yeah. Well, poker. Euchre is a big one, though. Yeah, well, in Wisconsin. But I'm saying like. Mm-hmm. Bridge, like you know, everyone fucking played bridge. Nope, yeah, I've so, never. But now those people have all it. died of old age, and they don't play bridge anymore. Well, that's the thing. I know how to play both. I know. I know how to play poker. I know how to play euchre. I don't know how to play bridge. I, I, do you know I how to play any trick taking game? I like hearts. Know how to play rummy. You don't. Know, do you know how to play hearts? Uh, isn't that just euchre but different? Okay, so euchre with all the cards. Okay. And one of them's Trump, just like in Euchre. All right. Okay. But the thing with Bridge is that you, you it's a partner game, and you bid to decide what's Trump. Mm-hmm. And so the higher you bid for the privilege of picking Trump, I mean, obviously picking Trump's going to help you, but if you bid too high, you're not going to be able to take the tricks you need. And then the weird mechanic is that whichever team wins, one of the players puts their entire hand face up, and the other partner plays both hands. Are if- we on the air right now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like card well, games. Well, that's the thing. Can we is, move on? Now, when now, I was like 10, I got a copy of Hoyle's Complete Book of Card Games like for Christmas, and I would just read it in bed. Like Instead of comic books, I would just read the rules to Canasta. God, I hate you so much. <laughs> I think now just somebody... I hate you too. Some days, I'm just like, <laughs> God, God damn it, Nate. Somebody's just going to take a soundbite of what you said and try and turn it into a pro-Trump speech. <laughs> yeah, nah, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you, are you, a rare right. moment of uh, holding back for Nathan. <laughs> oh, I was just thinking, like, no, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> high love gates leashed. Hypothetically, unleashed. you know, not saying me, but hypothetically, I wonder if there's any people who are so angry about shit like the Nevada caucus that if Hillary is the a candidate, they're just going to vote for Trump to watch everything burn down. Uh, I think that, and I say, think, fuck you, you made your bed, now you have President Trump. I think you're going to see people do nothing like i think you're going to see more people not vote than yeah. vote for trump or I pointlessly mean, write in well, bernie because it's Biden's never well win. exactly i know well i know most people still they're writing bernie no matter what i'm like you know what he he lost the popular vote he lost the states yes certain states fucked up pretty goddamn bad and i hope that spotlight was on them strong enough to change things and i hope the convention goes to super delegates so that'll expose how fucking stupid that is yeah but end of the day she got the most votes she won the most states she should probably be the nominee but there was so much shady bullshit going on that that was so unneeded that people are still going to probably not vote for her because of that which is a little unfair to her but you know what fuck her to some right and one last thing is to punish the democratic party right yeah. not to punish her specifically it's like well yeah it's just weird like it's just fucking yeah. american politics I hate politics so much now. I just want to. I understand. I every day, if if I could live in the woods away from the world and have a good internet connection, I think I would probably look into that. I, I honestly like have fiber to the woods. Just <laughs> very, pay like hundred million, hundred million dollars and fucking hook me up in the middle of nowhere and and a good toilet because the woods. Sorry. 
I would love if I we switched something. to the single transferable vote system. Yeah. Because it's literally flawless. It's where <clears> – it's great because you can have 30 Everything people Everything is a flaw. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. Well, let me explain this and see if a flaw jumps out at you. So single transferable vote, whoever gets 50.000001% 50, 50. of the popular vote wins. Okay. okay. So it's just you have to have strict majority. And so what it is is your ballot has everybody on there. So it could have Hillary, Trump, Bernie, Kasich, just boom, four people on there, sure. Mm -hmm. And you just rank them, one, two, three, four. And so I could say Bernie won, Hillary two. If I was like dar hard Democrat and I was a Bernie bro, but I wanted Trump to not win. So I could do one, two, three, Bernie, Hillary, Trump. Or just leave Trump blank, but whatever. So they count all the votes and they see, did anybody get 50%? And let's say it's just, you know, like... 20 to to bernie 40 hillary 40 trump so nobody got 50 percent. and then what they do is they're like well bernie lost sucks to be you bernie so they take everyone who ranked him number one and sees who their number two was and then their votes go to that person and so if 15 of the bernie people voted for hillary as the number two now she's at 55 to trump's 45 she wins i think that's how they figure out who who's in charge of the wall Maybe. <laughs> but the great sure. thing about There's that a King's Moot tonight <laughs> on Game of Thrones. Maybe that's what they do the King's Moot. You don't get the Nader spoiler. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like in that situation, if it's like, let's say it was twenty one uh thirty nine forty, you know, Trump doesn't beat Hillary forty to thirty nine, he loses to the eventually combined score. 61 to 30. Or that 51 to system's 30. already used by companies for lots of things. Yeah. Internal, and I have internal, when we have internal policies, they like rank your things, all that. Yeah. So that's already a commonly used uh, mechanic. So why don't we use it for... Well, first of all, are we, are we still going to let the blacks and women vote with this method? Because today we have a pretty good suppression rate in voter ID for stuff. Yeah, it's so, pretty handy. So, I mean, as long as we keep them out of voting, we're still... I we're love still the Wisconsin... Okay. The, the lawsuit that's going on right now because of the whole gerrymandering thing. Yeah. And after the last, with the midterm election, we just had when one of the Republican people was like, oh, man, it's great how many extra votes we got because of how we gerrymandered everything. Like, on record, he said that it was really great. Well, oh, no, no, it wasn't gerrymandering. It was the voter ID laws. Voter ID laws. He yes. said it's amazing how much the voter ID laws helped us. It's like, dude, you can't say that in public. You're supposed I mean, to pretend it's I mean, not true. We all know it's true. Know you it's know true. it's true, but you don't actually say it out loud. You don't admit yeah. it. Yeah. We went from <laughs> talking about cards to to now politics we've lost every you know how mad yeah. people get at us when we talk about politics it doesn't matter how neutral we are I mean, we're not neutral at all which doesn't help but uh no one's listening anymore so yeah, and, there's people listening there's people talking <laughs> yeah what we did forget to mention is welcome to episode 161 of crippled system yeah crippled it's a system. palindrome episode yep, it's it's definitely have a double meaning we're talking about war machine double words contra. and politics yeah yeah and, yeah and battleborn and Overwatch and Total War Warhammer. I have too many games to play next week. I can't handle. It. I took them, I took the entire week off of work almost, <laughs> except, for, except for Monday. I love, I love how you basically said throughout like the beginning of the year, like I'm, I'm going to save my vacation. I'm going to save my vacation. I'm going to save my vacation. Suddenly, there's a vacation. small, a very small conundrum of a couple games coming out, and Brian broke down. He's like, I take the whole week off, except for Monday. <laughs> well, I figured out, I guess... Monday is a free day off. No, no, this no, one. No, oh, you, I, so you're Tuesday, I'm, Tuesday through Friday. You didn't yeah, take tomorrow yeah. off. No, I, there's no reason to do it. Didn't mm. you say Battleborn came out tomorrow? Or not Battleborn? Overwatch. Six p.m. It's six oh, p.m. Okay. after work. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, never mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, um, I'm excited for Overwatch. It'll be a really good time again. The, no. This this thing just fucking made me lose it. Why Why did you what show you me that? Because I just couldn't live in a world where I was the only <laughs> one in this room who knew about it. What is it? It's a uh, lady of a. It's a picture of a lady and a guy on a couch, and it says, uh, Rachel split up with her whatever because she couldn't deal with his alter ego spot. She just didn't understand it. <laughs> that is some fucked up shit. Why, why, why My suit's much that? better. It's like super furry. Yeah, dude, except uh, it's not furry. It's like a latex suit that's latex painted suit to look a, like a Dalmatian. With a dog mask. Yeah, yeah. that's no good. <laughs> <laughs> the look on this lady's face is just utter horror. When this goes out, I'm totally going to post this on you so Works people know me. what we're talking about. I'm Nathan. <clears throat> I'm Brian. <laughs> I'm Brian. <laughs> My girlfriend sends I'm me furry Andy. pictures. <laughs> uh, what were you just talking about with the thing before that? Talking about uh, palindrome, no cards in Mark Crippled III. System. Crippled system, Crippled palindromes, system. politics. I don't yeah. know. I was gonna say something. Thank I lost it. God, at least our term wasn't changed by Mark III. Oh, vacation. Yes, Brian's vacation. So 
my boss quit. He put in his two-week notice like two weeks and two days ago. So Thursday was his last day. Okay. And so Thursday was also our semi-annual, biannual, our once every six months uh, visit by like our super head honcho to look at our store. So sure. Like, so they quit, the, they quit the day after? <clears throat> the day of. The day of? Yeah, the, the guy was honcho? there okay. doing the visit the day my <laughs> boss's last day. So he did the visit with me instead and then interviewed me for my boss's job after the visit. So like he finished the visit and said, great, let's interview for his job. And then he left and that's great, whatever. And so the issue is, is like, may or may not you know get a, a promotion or whatever but he sent a, a invite to me that it, sometimes like those google invites you get a gmail thing oh, like to like set up an event linkedin invite. yeah yeah uh so that he's going to come and visit the store again like on june 8th or 9th or something okay so there's no reason for an actual visit again so that must be when he's coming to talk to me about whether i get the job or not but june 12th through the 19th is when i'm supposed to be driving to see yeah. stephen king and so I'm worried that he's going to be great. You got the job. Now you have to do training for the next two weeks. <laughs> I think if, I think a company, and then Raylene will stab me to death. You can, I think a company, <laughs> if a manager knows you have a, a scheduled week off, they typically aren't going to screw you out of an entire week vacation. Correct. Yeah, They're, they generally are. I, I mean, mean, if you're right. like, I'm on vacation for a whole week. Flip side, if they, if if, yeah, I mean, if they if they don't tell me by the way we've hired a replacement and here he is right now yeah. like if i either get the job or that isn't about the job and the job isn't filled yet there's zero chance that they can function without me because of my boss leaving like if i leave there's just literally not enough people how many assistants are there two or three there are two remaining managers not counting me okay and you like they would have to both work all seven all eight days that i'm gone yeah to cover all the shifts i guess mm -hmm. they can just work eight days in a row both but that well, seems a little mean of that's me. That's the weird thing. I mean, I guess, but in retail, that happens. All people have people, managers quit at all times. Yeah. And if they start doing things, they're saying, you know what, that vacation you had planned, you can't take it. Oh, we just lost it. I mean, that's someone's yeah. quit all over one thing. But at some point, they have to understand maybe things struggle. And there's other stores. People can't, can't, can't they pull from someone from a different store in town, make them work there for Yeah, them? yeah, they might be able to. Oh, and I look at you with your logic. That's actually <laughs> a very easy solution. It should, I mean, it should be an easy solution. I, I, I've been, I worked enough retail and dealt with people enough enough yeah i could also probably just real quick give somebody <clears throat> alarm codes and keys and say you just have to work sunday bye yeah yeah it is a lot easier to work uh, to do that with like a, <coughs> a chain store for the reasons that brian's suggested and i mean the, the trip you want i mean uh, to be fair at least seeing king and martin would be pretty cool but it's now it's on a scale of vacations i mean if somebody had to cancel other than really killing you yeah no like for raylene this is literally like yeah right now in your head think of the one thing you want to do yeah, before no. you die yeah, this is that. <laughs> I haven't met King, so I'm a little sad. I yeah. can't. I couldn't meet you. I've met Martin, and he's you know. I don't give a shit about him. He just happened to be at this showing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, because when you guys, because I was so lucky, because I'm, I'm I'm going to I'm going to Origins that same weekend, so I had to I had to miss that. Yeah, this is gonna be. We're seeing King, and there's a fat Greek fisherman who doesn't write books sitting next to him. Yep. Why does he have to be Greek? Because he's got the Greek fisherman's hat that he always wears. So basically, as a, as a side Only note... Only Greek fisherman and George R.R. R. Martin wear that hat. That's from that fish sticks box, right? Yeah. No, that's the guy in the yellow slicker. Oh. Yeah, that was me at, uh, at Rockin' the Range last year. So in June, Nathan's gone for a good solid week. I'm gone for a week and some, and Andy's gone for like two weeks. So we'll, we'll, talk, we'll, we'll, we'll podcast again in July. Amanda's gone for a, couple, for a week also. So I Her's in charge run, of the world. I can run this shit on my own. <laughs> we'll just have a recording of Howler Monkeys, and no one will notice the difference. I'll just bring the, the Baraboo Brain Trust, and it'll be okay. And although uh, you gave me crap from a kid, I will say this is the first, not only is this the first year I'm taking an entire week off, vacation in 10 years i'm taking two weeks off of one week uh, i'm taking two separate one weeks off within a month within a, within a month so it's gonna be really weird to like not work that much wild man i know out of control and one week i'm going on vacation and seeing people and hanging out and the other week i'm not going to put on pants so oh, it's really the best <laughs> in the world so make sure you figure out which one that is yeah I, if, I, if, I, if i screw that up <laughs> it'll make origins really weird and i'm yeah. you don't need pants at origins just so, me just up, dress so, up like spot there yeah, and I'm the only one. I, I, someone is asking our chat if anyone else is going to Origins, but I am the only one from our group going to Origins. And it's my first time there. Yeah, Very I'm. Excited. I'm going to be a lock and load, and then over in Oregon for three weeks, basically. You should go somewhere because we're all doing crazy things. You should go to lock and load with I'm me. I'm gonna go well, to Florida. That was the thing is I was going to go with Amanda, but I decided to go to Muse and in, MuseCon instead. 
and uh, kind of, I, I just kind of burnt my PTO on that oh, and having yeah. to take her home. So, mm. unfortunately, the company that I work for doesn't give, even though I'm salaried, I only have, I, I still accumulate. Mm -hmm. my pto instead of getting a bulk amount at the beginning of the year and spend it as i see fit so That's i have to weird. dick around with that i know it's really weird is it like transferable at least from year to year it is i can hold it for <clears> two <throat> years otherwise like vacation in january would be literally impossible it is uh i do get to hold it for i think it might even be three years okay yeah ours ours we get a like a we get like two separate accounts we have a personal time off one which is the pto and then mm -hmm. we get actual vacation that accrues through each paycheck. Well, then you have only yourself to blame because you used up last year for War Machine Weekend. Well, it was War Machine Weekend and Gen Con and because I like to stay home and do shit. And, and you mentioned, working. you know, you can't do one thing because of the con. The last ten, one of the big reasons I haven't had a week off in the last eight years is I've given so much of my, my vacation time to conventions. So this is the first year I've only, I'm only given War Machine like two days total for the year mm -hmm. so that I can actually take vacation and do other things in my life. So it's kind of exciting. I mean, I'm excited about War Machine again, but it's also nice to like have time to yeah. do something besides going to conventions. Well, my big one is next year. I for sure want to go to Adepticon because I haven't hit it in the la in in three years. I've never been there, and I really need to go. Um, Adepticon? And then Adepticon, I've never been there. Oh, so yeah. it's in our backyard. I know it's in our backyard, like but you it's... literally can commute there. Yeah, yeah. I know that's what I was saying. <laughs> I was, I, well, and Amanda has family that lives in Chicago. So it would be like a 20-minute drive to go there. I wouldn't have to pay for a hotel or shit. But, uh, um, you wouldn't have to shit or you wouldn't have to pay for shit? I wouldn't have to pay for shit. Okay. So. For hotel spa sta space at Adepticon is the most expensive part about it. Mm -hmm. Besides, the, the events are kind of a little bit pricey. But Well, that's overall, what I really liked about the Muse convention is that you paid your one flat rate to get in and then you did whatever the fuck you wanted. I know at Adepticon it's different because they have a lot more notable events that go on and they have a lot a lot a big breadth of games that are there but like just to be able to go there and see for this for the purchasing experience because there's shit that i'll be able to like tangibly hold because right now i'm working on like this extreme karchev right and i want like bits to make him look more like menacing mm -hmm. but i don't i haven't i've been so out of touch with 40k or any of those games that would have that kind of like theme to it that i have no fucking clue what i'm looking for until i see it so that would be a, a good opportunity for it. But I'm going to hit Adepticon and then go for like a real vacation with Amanda sometime. So that'll be fun. Wouldn't the spikes like on the one head like interfere with the other head? It seems like it would be difficult for those puppies. Well, the funny thing is that on the actual models, they I think they only ha they have uh, um, inline spikes. Like yeah. I guess like either way it's lateral, but these ones are like they look like they're a crown spike setup whereas the actual models have a vertical like a vertebrae type like it lines up with their vertebrae sure which at least isn't going to get caught on the other head exactly I'm this just worry like this, this head might strange. be dead he got impaled on this one's collar he could very well be it um it could be one of those like uh um we total the, recall we, moments we don't know the spikes are all the way around well that's why they that's why they can't have them anymore right because the spikes were wrong mm-hmm yeah. Indeed. So that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's true story. Yep, that's vacation story time. You, Mr. Kickstarter, did you send out the survey to people? for Because that was a question that someone had once. Uh, you oh, mentioned last um, week you had Kickstarter stuff. ATC questionnaire. ATC. Yeah, I need to send yeah. the questionnaire out. I haven't got my questionnaire yet. I'll send it out to my, tomorrow. No, it's just like, hi, how are you doing? No, because the only thing I need is like mailing address or alternately, don't worry, you, I'll get it from you will be a valid mailing address thing. And then like I need like t-shirt sizes for the people who got t-shirts and stuff like that. Are you going to be anything like the War Machine Tactics questionnaire? <laughs> I, I didn't see it. I didn't back them. So, well, um, <clears throat> well, the questionnaire was fine. Everything was fine with them. But uh, I moved three times since they had... <laughs> Since they had the, or at least moved twice since they actually had the end of the Kickstarter. Yeah. So when they sent all the things saying, hey, we're sending out the physical copies of War Machine Tactics, I'm like, I don't think my address is correct, even remotely. Hopefully I won't, like, wait several years to mail things out. Correct. What is the, correct. what is the, for, never mind. I'll deal Why? with that later. What? I was going to ask you, what's the, like, I didn't hop on the Kickstarter, but I know you had said that if you didn't hop on the Kickstarter, you're still able to, like, I can give you shit, and you can give me shit. What's the you very last day You didn't back the Kickstarter, you son of a bitch. You I son just, of a bitch. You still can't. The, I, I have not yet started the ball rolling on production of stuff, because right. I need to do the survey anyway, so 
you have time still. All right, so if I'm a late bird, I can just like give you money and a handy and get some dice and stuff. I I am willing to 100% guarantee that anybody who contacts me uh, or just PayPal's money with a note saying, hey, I want the equivalent of backing at X dollars by the end of May will get in. Sweet. And depending on how quickly I contact people and hear back from people about the production of stuff, it could bleed later. But I'm certain that stuff will still be orderable by the end of May. Okay. Very exciting. That's you know only like a week and a half from now. So speaking of announcements, we have some. We have a couple things. We have the War Machine event that's coming up. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of cool. This coming Saturday, huh? I, I hate trying to figure out the Saturday the, the, that the, we will experience ver- next. Right. It would be yep. yes this upcoming Saturday. Yeah. This it's not Saturday. like I said next Saturday. <laughs> then we had to I know, debate it. I know. I know. I, I didn't know if you were trying to trap me into an argument <laughs> Wait, it with is, the boat. It's not next Saturday. It's it is, it is next Saturday. This, the week we are currently inhabiting, it is the Saturday of that week. All right. It is this current week Saturday. The next, the next Saturday, but not next Saturday. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> it is the next Saturday, but it is not next Saturday. So it's like anti winter shin Saturday. So it's like next Friday, but instead of a movie, it's a day. Saturday the 28th. How long from now is next Monday? Whoa. <laughs> I, need to, I need to calculate. Yeah. It okay. ain't one day. No. If I said next Monday, I said we should go see something next Monday, you wouldn't think tomorrow. I've always been Maybe. on your side of this one. Yeah. Potentially. I've, I've, Fuck you. I may, may potentially think this Monday coming You up. might. No. I always experience that. supports my very, side. The very next Monday. So the next Monday is tomorrow. It's this like, goddamn I, weekend, I was thinking it, the whole goddamn week, I was thinking it was, it was a Memorial Day weekend. I've been, yeah, no, no, that's... There's no brats. That's next weekend. Yes, it's... <laughs> <laughs> also this weekend. It's next Sunday, which is part of this coming does, weekend. Does that mean you'll cook out for the for the last the, the last hurrah that you <coughs> paid to since it's Memorial Day War I Machine? Thought about it. Brat fest. I thought about yeah. it, but the other thing I was thinking about doing is just uh, like midway through second round, just, go, runner. And, just go down to Bratfest yeah. and pick up a bunch of brats. <clears throat> yep, send a runner. What do you... Mm, I is, is, just burped happy? is all. Okay. Is, is, that your, is that a happy burp? <laughs> well, I have no proxies left, so I can be a runner. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was like, <laughs> that's all right. There's literally it. only two unreleased models for the faction. And I was, there's only two unreleased models for any of the factions I put. No, I guess that's not true. There are unreleased Gator mod. Are there? Are there any unreleased Gator no, models no, right now? No, everything is out. The, so the literally... speaker is the one that's unreleased, but we, we, we don't have a card for so it. So there are the zero, zero unreleased models. The misspeaker's model. out. It has a card. <laughs> I, I didn't think we saw it yet. It's out. But no, I, we I mean, knew it what ha- it did. It actually but has it's an actual terrible, card. So okay. it doesn't yeah. matter. I have it. But yeah. not counting the misspeaker, because maybe, maybe or maybe not that counts as unreleased. As of like two days from now, there will be nothing in any of my factions I've played yeah, unreleased. Yeah, because the boards so are coming out, right? To me. If this was a week sooner, this event would have been great, except I would have been working and couldn't mm-hmm. have gone. <laughs> yeah, I only have one model of the factions that I give a shit about that I would be able to play in the, as a proxy, which is the victor, and I don't give a shit about that. We're going to see Inflictors. Was there any other announcements? Uh, June fourth is uh, Bear was doing an escalation event. We switched from seventy five point two caster to an escalation from fifteen up to seventy five points. Acker's running it, so I don't know if we're gonna like mandatory the seventy five round or have if we you have, ordered like, the pins. I've I've put in the request to order the pins. I forgot to bring pins to today. <laughs> Son of a bitch! I know it's, I'm pretty bad at it, but uh, uh it, it wouldn't be. It, it adds flavor it's, and variety. It's it's getting close to being. Uh, this podcast is brought to you by Andy, Brian, Nathan, and Sam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. I think if uh, the the thing is is like I think I threw Acker under the bus a little bit. Because I told the store owner, like, after we had figured out what the date was two weeks ago, that uh, that I need pins now. So now I just pigeonholed Acker into to running the, the event? Sam. Oh, no, but no, we'll spread the word that you were the one who originally set up. I didn't event. set up shit. He is the one who decided to uh, switch it to the, the Escalation thing, and he's the one who uh, told me to tell the store to get the pins. So he is the next Sam by proxy, yeah. Boom. But but if you didn't put in for the pins, <clears throat> but now I didn't need to. Available. I wasn't running the event. 
But now it sounds like the pins have been ordered, so he won't be Sam because the pins will be there. It does. It depends on how <clears throat> how uh, quick our game store owners. When I order out. pins from a store or medals from a store, it's very important for any press gang out there. When you go to a store manager and you're like, "I want to order some coins for my event," you tell them that, and then if it's the first time you've ordered this person, you wait a week and you go, "Hey, did you order those pins?" Like, oh, I completely forgot about that. I'll do it right now. Then you wait a couple days. Hey, how are those pins coming? I never thought about that again. Are you too should good thing you reminded me? Reminds me Actually, one thing. I our kind of experience uh, with our local stores is more like we're in there <clears throat> and we go, hey, did you have any pin sets lying around or coin sets? Like, oh yeah, we've got like these three varieties. And we're like, okay, we'll do an event then. Yeah. Well, that's uh because ours, ours know that we run events often enough that they just yeah they order them occasionally. Well, they they got to give me, they got to give me harassing them every, every couple days. Yeah. What I've done now is whenever I order, ask the store owner in Baraboo to to get pins i tell him to order two sets so that way i've always got a backup and then when the last one goes out you should just order more but that's if things worked in a perfect system that sounds good in theory except for in practice the last event was part of that sequence wasn't it it was it was the last of my my it was actually it was the first request and it sounds like he only ordered one set so (laughs) <laughs> where was the place that we played that newbie tournament where Reedsburg. I got, that was Reedsburg. Reedsburg. Okay. yeah Reedsburg is where <laughs> Vanguard Games was um, that, they're still like super heavily focused into 40k <clears throat> and since I've moved another 20 minutes away from Reedsburg it's not just so much of a hop skip and a jump anymore Yeah. so uh, I haven't been able to get out there to try and support anything but it sounds like a lot of their 40k players are also moving around to Baraboo too so yeah yeah I don't know what's going to happen with them, but at any rate, Bearboo's the place to go if you want to play War Machine. We've ended up we ended up getting a bunch of four by four tables now, so we don't have to have like the two four by sixes put together to get three table spaces, and then have somebody on the San Andreas fault. But Fair enough. You're fine. Yeah. Oh, I can't read from here. You can't yeah. read. I can. Boom! Snap! All right. Now, now, next, next topic of the day. Do we have a topic? I have an anecdote. Is it about what we were talking about before about Is how you hate pun? Windows 10? Yeah. Um, I'll try to make it one. <laughs> Hold on. Let me cut, let me get tech Katie over here. Hold on, just a minute. Uh, I know some, I can't make it a pun. I made a pun yesterday. Horrible. It was amazing. I forgot what it was, but I made a pun. That's all I have. Freaks. Awesome. It was. <laughs> I don't make. I'm a sarcastic person. I don't hey. think. It, I don't think in puns. I think in sarcasm and hate. So yeah. the fact that pun came on of me was just really weird. Yeah. I had a high five the person next to me. They're like, "What's happening?" You get yourself checked. I was like, I sure. I just, an, as a guy, I know I have a short story where humor is actually like implanted in our brains by aliens as part of an experiment to see how humor works. And the only actual jokes that humans are capable of creating without this external impetus is puns. So okay, it's a weird story. Not all of them are about robots. Some of them are nonsensical gibberish, like that one. Anyway, so you don't like Windows 10, but Windows 10 is way better than Windows 8 because Windows 8 was the worst thing ever and everybody yes. hated it. Yeah. And that's why they skipped Windows 9 and went to Windows 10 was just to distance itself from Windows 9. So at work eight. we had – or from Windows 8. Yeah, sorry. At work – it was a pun. You <laughs> caught it. <laughs> it was not a pun. <laughs> no, because they're all German people and they don't want it, so they go, nine, when they're looking at Windows 8. Okay, so we'll we'll put that together like a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Make that so work. Oh, we get a pun. pun there somewhere. I tried. Uh, point is, we had one last Windows nine. Eight we had one last Windows eight computer last. Yeah, if I say nine, it's the number nine. Nine is no. It's, well, yeah, obviously. It's, it's obviously the inflection. Sorry, you were telling a story. <laughs> I'm gonna nine the motherfucking audio. It was Windows eight. It was our last Windows eight computer, and it's like a. Six hundred dollar PC, like it's pretty damn good, but it had Windows eight pre installed. Yeah, it's fucking. And worthless. so the, the it kept price dropping, or it was a five hundred dollar computer. That's right, because it kept price dropping to the point where two days ago it just went ninety percent off. It was like fuck <laughs> it, so I just bought it for fifty bucks. <laughs> so I got like a five hundred dollar computer for fifty bucks, and I just went home, installed Windows ten, and I'm fine. Yeah, that's intense. Just gonna because, hook it up to the TV. Seven, so eight, nine. Store? There we go. It was the last one. I'm just gonna hook it up to the TV <clears> and get a, a. I'm gonna do wireless keyboard and mouse, and that way I can just sit on the couch and use my TV like a monitor and use it to like play. That's paper that's gonna and work stuff. until your wireless mouse or wireless keyboard run out of batteries. Yeah. And well, then, yeah. then you're gonna be like, God damn it! No, no, I have to move. I mean, that's well, or I put a battery into them. 
Yeah. Would you just keep like a whole like bucket full of batteries? Well, no, you just run out like charger. every minute. Like, you, you, you keep the charger plugged into the wall, and then you've got your your set of four batteries, and you just rotate them. Yeah. I mean, that's what I have to do with my PlayStation anyway. It's yeah. like when the controller dies, I go and I grab the other controller. Actually, I have a, just a long, long uh, USB cable I run to it. What's the point of a wireless controller? And also, you, you <clears> don't <throat> have a dog that occasionally trips over that and then your your joystick goes flying out of your hands. That would add a level of challenge. Yeah, yeah. Would. I already yeah. have that with the headset. I'll just be like chatting and all of a sudden I just get whiplash because she trips over the cord. <laughs> <laughs> well, teach your dog to be less clumsy. Yeah, I think she does it on purpose because she hates me. Because I don't walk her enough. She likes me, though. She does. Well, or not. She punches you in the genitals every time she sees you. Well, you think she's over-exuberant? I just think that's her cover story. No. Uh, no. I need $50 computers. I could use that for streaming. We'll go find one. Yeah, I'm going to have You have to. 18 computers here, you're fine. None of these. There's only one that's good for streaming. But if we you don't put need them together, computers. They... We just have a PS4 to play some Battleborns. We're fine. <laughs> like a computer Voltron? Yeah. Like you combine all of his crappy laptops into one like super laptop? Exactly. Then we'll take up the space of like a 1950s computer. Fair. And then it'll work better. I don't think the noise uh, a 50s computer would make would be conducive to a podcast. Well, you just need to install an air conditioner into it. And then <laughs> that is to make it louder. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or just use one of those giant barn fans like they have at the state fair. <laughs> barn. Uh. So how is? I haven't been in in Madison lately to play Mark II stuff on Wednesday nights. But how's the the retention for War Machine going right now in Madison? Oh, I was, you, were, you were down there on Wednesday. We usually show up on Wednesday and talk about them, the insiders, and the leaks for three hours. Gotcha. And then maybe somebody accidentally plays a game. Because I know at Baribu, at we, least our, our, our game night is Friday, and we had fourteen people playing War Machine. Do all they at once know there's a new version coming out? They, well, they, some of them we had to remind. We're just like one of them was like inter, like mixing the rules together, so like it was really awkward, but. Um, yeah, I think the big thing for us is like there are a lot of new play newer players. They're not new anymore, but like trying to understand threat assessment and how to deploy and make sure that you plan out your turns ahead of time. Those are things that are going to be the same in Mark III. Like you're still going to have to have those those same skills. So I think Baraboo's interesting in that we we still have people playing, so they still get the gist of how that stuff goes. But with Madison having more experienced players, I was just curious to see how the retention for Mark II is going. I guess for listeners oh, as a whole, how's your meta doing? I I liked, by the way, your Facebook update about how well things are doing in Baraboo on Friday. Because your Facebook update was, Mark II's alive and well at Baraboo. I just played a game of Guild Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I literally went, I your did, Facebook update. I did go for Well, I wanted to make sure the pictures were inclusive. But I did play a game of War Machine before I played that game. I Ball love game. War Machine so much, I play <laughs> Guild Ball all the time. <laughs> I felt really bad too because the guy that I was playing against was one of the Janesville guys and like he and another Janesville guy just learned the game on their own so they were like he was beating the shit out of him in Janesville so he sat down across from me and I just like pummeled him into the ground I 12 owed him and it was it made me feel really bad but really good at the same time it was like I was playing War Machine I wasn't him. there for long on Wednesday because I came home to play Battleborn but there was like four new people there like yep. new guys and they were just building their like they had two player starter box that they were building oh, stuff cool. out of yeah so yeah we, cool. had, we had a bunch of new new players I, I felt bad telling them like in a sense like uh, you guys know that there's a new edition in like three weeks yeah but yeah just you know. Go ahead and learn, but learn with a grain of salt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah things... Well, and the thing is, by the time Mark III hits, those people wouldn't have really, like, internalized <laughs> the game just yet. Correct. They'll still be understanding the game terms and everything like that, so I think that's still beneficial for you to learn the game at this yeah. point. But what I understand, sense. most of the things are not changing in the core rules in, mm -hmm. the, in that way. Other than like removal of certain power attacks, I think you make convergence a full faction. I, I don't know if anybody's asked that yet. <laughs> no, no, they, well, they, I think I think our weekly I think our weekly Wednesday War Machine strategy between now and Mark Three is Battleborn. So yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm doing on Wednesdays for the next two or three. Weeks. Fail horribly at five player missions. Oh my god, <laughs> fucking a. I yeah, I even set up like what I thought would be the best stalkers. part. Yeah, the, well, no, it wasn't the it wasn't the stalkers though. It was, it was the second time two of them got on that defense point and just. Bleh. It's it's the guys that go in corporal for a second. Yeah, those guys because I I can unload all my shots into them, but if they're in corporal, 
Uh, it uh, I was staying back to cover. I, I don't think I think I they're all they're all they're all easy to kill. I think I'm we should have did five Isaacs and we would have been fine. Well, ultimately, it occurred to me like instead of having you up there to kill snipers, yeah. you could have been down with everybody else because the the alt I had was kind of pointless because it, it pushes things back and then it blocks bullets. But those were all so many melee monsters, it wasn't saving me. Like I'd push them back and they go okay, and then they jump in and start mauling me. <laughs> but at least that would let us concentrate on those guys because they could block the bullets from the snipers against yeah. the defense point. I guess. Well, I, I, yeah, I five haven't... Isaacs will gold anything probably. We should just stick with that. <laughs> I haven't played Battleborn at all. I'm I'm still holding out for Overwatch. But when I saw your photo about the like that you had like the computer guys, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Are those just are those Isaacs? Yeah, yeah that's right. okay. So Isaac is Bastion, kind, uh, yeah, yes. kind of, but he can move. <laughs> a lot of the characters I play <laughs> in Overwatch. When I, when I, cause I mean, I'm I like Battleborn, but I'm addicted to Overwatch. But I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Battleborn weekly. But I am still, a lot of times when I'm playing, I'm like this character is just like that Overwatch character I wish I was playing right now. Yeah, <laughs> so that's so the I, thing. Like <laughs> Overwatch for me is like I don't play uh, online or multiplayer games online much. I'm much more of a like. I'm playing Diablo 3, playing the campaign, leave me the fuck alone, and mm. just let me do my thing. Yeah. But Overwatch, I can't get an, I couldn't get enough of that game during the beta. Like, it was it was fantastic. I loved every minute of it. Well, that, that one was fun, because, A, when you're playing with a couple friends, it's always fun. It's just fun mm-hmm. playing an online game. You're blowing up shit. Just, just add a level of fun. You're chatting and, you know, over the place of your network. You're just kind of having a good time. I did like that our, our chat during uh, the experiment was just us occasionally laughing. Just because when we were five Isaacs in turret mode oh, defending yes. a point, like there was no conversation to even have. It was just these poor Varelsi swarming towards us and exploding, and just every once in a while one of us would giggle. <laughs> That's how you it's, it's the, the character that himself would giggle because he's killing things. He would do that too. But yeah, because that whole mission is just defend a stationary point, and so we're just five turrets just putting an ungodly amount of firepower mm-hmm. down a hallway, and these things. It's like the. the um, the machine gun sentry scene in Aliens. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I have with unlimited ammo. There was yeah. no ammo counter. On, on with unlimited all. ammo and psychotic quips. <laughs> yeah. I did have my bucket list during the Overwatch beta of like play five or play a full team of everything or everybody's one thing. We did Junkrat May, and uh, I think we did a Bastion once just to be assholes. But I do want to try a Torbjorn team and see how that goes but it sounds like you guys kind of did it already in we, battleborn we in in uh overwatch i don't think we've ever actually done like a five person team we've always not, not of the yeah we've never played evolved we've never played it well because usually you'll, you'll typically lose is why but you'll, you'll i've seen like two people doing bastions and one guy doing like a turret guy i've seen like when you're doing defensive points some people go heavy in that regard but not not yeah. not all five players trying it well, in, in Overwatch, though, you don't figure out if you're defending or attacking until after you choose your character, right? No, before right? you start. But the thing okay, is, you, so you can attention. change character. The thing about the big, <laughs> the big difference with Overwatch and Battleborn, as far as character choice, you can change every you can every death you change characters in Overwatch mm-hmm. if you want. Mm-hmm. Or Battleborn, you're staying you're, you're the same character through the entire mission. You so you where would you over. where would you say the split is between here's where the Battleborn ends and Overwatch? Starts. They're completely different worlds. I mean, other than they're them, they're, 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 Nathan and Annie both shared that really nice. Well, Nathan shared it first, but the really nice. Uh, uh, like they're two completely different games. Have you played Hot, Hot, Here's a Store, League of Legend, or Dota, or anything like that? No, it's on my computer. I okay. just haven't yeah. brought myself. But you're familiar down with the concept level. of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It's it's it. I it's mean, first we've mentioned person... this a hundred times, but you can't. You literally can't even compare them because mm-hmm. they're nothing alike. They uh, pull. No. They, they pull the same group of people. The, the, the same kind of people would play one or the other. So it kind of pulls in the same sure. base. But, that, but from, pulls, that's about it. It pulls the same audience. It it has. It's similar in the sense that it has colorful characters, multitudes of characters, and it's a first-person online. And game. it's a first-person online online game. That's where it ends. And that's completely. that's pretty much it. I mean, Battleborn has the campaign and it has the MOBA style, and it has the the leveling up system where it's over and it has actual gear that's usable in the game, whereas Overwatch is cosmetic gear yeah, cosmetic and is arena gear. combat, and you don't level up. Your character mm-hmm. just is what your character is. Yeah. yeah. You know, you, you know, and neither yeah. of those is better than the other. It's just a matter of their. But they both, I mean, both games unlock different kind of taunts. Both yeah. games, so there's a lot of the same kind of character tw- tweaks you can do. Yeah. The analogy I keep using is it, it's not Coke Pepsi. It's like Coke Seven Up. 
like yeah they're both sodas but they're nothing alike apart from that gotcha mm-hmm. and so you can't and so and i see people like well you know you just stop fucking coke pepsiing it it's okay to like overwatch more it's okay to like battleborn more mm-hmm. it's just i'm annoyed by people who think they're the same thing and 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 yeah yeah i just have no context for battleborn it's... i'll have to tune in to you guys playing sometime yeah, if we can get our stream going. We tried streaming some yeah. stuff yesterday and I was having issues. Yeah, because with, uh... episode 160 went live last night. <laughs> yeah. Did. <laughs> you didn't change the label? <laughs> uh, I thought I thought it would actually change it on the stream. It did not. When you change the label on the PlayStation, it doesn't change it for some reason. I, it's weird. You have to I might have my PC. Twitch figured out to stream either. Because I'm going to be playing I'm, I'm gonna be playing a lot of Overwatch, but also trying to think some Total War Warhammer. I think I have my thing. Like I was, I was actually streaming. Build us up. My... As, we need to build a, like our own personal network with uh, the you know, like Carnage, Radiofan. If uh, someone else had to do that. That sounds very complicated and hard. Not, not very. It sounds it sounds complicated. <laughs> well, if it's I easy, you we, do it. Yeah, because last time I remember the I remember our first episode we couldn't figure out Twitch so or, or, or uh, Twitter that was that confused us way back in the day. Because well, Twitter updates really stupidly. Yeah. Twitter, so. Twitter does. Try to find a conversation on Twitter that, yeah. that yeah. happened yesterday. Yeah. Go. It's dumb. <laughs> and it's great when you find one comment, but it's split off from another comment in the middle of the thing, and so it doesn't trace it all the way back to the first thing. Like, the hell? Yeah. Fuck you, Twitter. Well, you know, speaking of Twitter, before I lose, someone asked you guys an interesting tweet last week about, like, uh, board games and, like, uh, that one... Yeah, well, Tom Vassell, and they asked something about like the mm-hmm. shut up and sit down guys. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys, you guys, you no, we, we talked about it. Shut up, sit down. Oh, we talked, talked about, about it briefly. I mentioned the two rule book thing that they were like, this is new. Yeah, and you were angry because they've done that for years. They are a very charismatically intriguing re- reviewers from England, and uh, what they'll usually do as soon as they say, when they say, hey, this, if their first thing about a game is this game is a, this game has really good pieces and looks very artic- it's very arts, you know, it looks really, it look, it's artistic. Not artistic, but you know it's very well aesthetically it, appealing. Visually, aesthetic, visually aesthetic, aesthetic and lots of figures. Everything after that is going to be negative. That's like their key when they when they call it the figures and, and how it looks is is the first pro is you can just turn it off because the next forty five minutes is going to be like everything else was terrible. If it, if they like a game, then they talk about other things. But when they they're their go to, they're just very they're your standard European snobby. American style games are bad because they're American style games, and it's not it's not worker placement, so it's stupid stuff. And that you know what, and that's fine. I get it. They're in Europe. That they're in the home of that snobness. Mm-hmm. So that's that's their thing, and they're doing it well. But they put out some interesting videos, and uh, it, I hate them. I feel like I feel like Tom Vassell's the kind of guy where I could light all of his games on fire, and he'd still have a chipper attitude about it. Yeah, he's he's all he's he's almost the, he's almost the opposite of them though. He's almost he's the American styles. Positive. Well, not only that, he's kind of the American games are good and Euro games are kind of trash. He's only, he's not quite that that level, but he's definitely more. He's not really balanced. So if they did a fusion, it would be okay. Yeah. I just did math in my head because yeah. I was thinking about board games and I was gonna and, and the shut ups down guys and I was gonna talk to you about like you know playing Re- Rebellion again or sometime and I was gonna say hey I know you couldn't do board games tomorrow but what are you do oh never mind <laughs> <laughs> like it clicked oh, I, I figured it out you figured it out <laughs> I figured out why you canceled board games oh tomorrow. you figured you figured out why you canceled <laughs> yeah. board games tomorrow. <laughs> Hooray me! <laughs> It'll be really awkward to play board games in Brian's house while he's playing Overwatch. I mean, I'd be fine erection. with that. I'm not going to leave in my room all tomorrow night. So uh, I just need a. F- I'll, I'll be back, we'll be back the following week. But at that first, the problem in Overwatch, and this is kind of a dumb problem, but I mentioned earlier, you know, we're going to have so many friends playing it, and it's you want to. It's hard to play with everyone you want to play with. So then it's like people you kind of know want to play with you, and you're like. You know, you're a nice guy, and you know, I'm talking to you, but it's the first night of a game, and you're not high enough on my people I like chart to really want to play with you now. <laughs> no. I mean, we, so, could, we, could, we could play in a couple of weeks when I'm not this high. Yeah, you can afford to be picky. But, <laughs> I mean, are you Alex Schaefer? No, because I really want to play with Alex Schaefer tonight. Is it, is it like tomorrow? Tomorrow? Well, yeah, if a Shea and a hook dro- drops on there, you'll be like, well, I'm sorry, that just doesn't yeah. work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Or a hook. In general, and this is this is kind of a, a general guy. It's like when we have set nights <laughs> of people together, I love to play with our group. But there's some certain nights where I'm like, I want to play with everyone who's from a different state or somebody I don't see mm-hmm. normally. Like it's like the are you far away from me? I want to play with you tonight. Like my roommate Jordan has been playing a ton of games with me lately online. And it's great, but I see him all the fucking time when I'm in, online in a game. I don't necessarily want to play with Jordan because I can just go downstairs and talk to him. I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to play an online game with him. Because I can, you know, I see him daily. Well, and then if he does something that pisses you off, it's really awkward for the next week. Like, you don't do dishes. You piss in his water. Whatever. Yeah. Well, he's pretty good at games, so it's not quality game-wise. But it's just, you know, sometimes I just want to play with, you know, JR and Alex. Mm-hmm. But, you know, so it gets kind of weird sometimes in that regards. 
Yeah, that's merely rant. Yeah. But we should play more Rebellion. Did you talk about Rebellion? So, we, we played that the other day. Played what? what? Did you talk about Rebellion on last podcast? I did not. Yeah, I here. We played Rebellion. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it. I, and yeah, everything went badly for me, and I still wasn't angry. So, <laughs> Which is pretty know. good for you. <laughs> yeah. So if things went okay for me, I would have loved it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to ask me something, Andy? No. Uh, no, I forgot what it was. No, oh, yeah. Like, no, well, I was... now I know not to try. Now I know not to. Like, I dick stomped Mon Calmari into the dust because it's a very important place for Brian. And Brian had it. And I just said, fuck you, Mon Calmari. And I made it the most garbage place ever. And then I drew a card that said, you get a Mon Calmari now forever. It's yours. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm glad that's in the deck. <laughs> I'm glad I just curb stomped it into oblivion. But luckily, as the rebellion, see, the thing is, like, I sabotaged it. So I made it completely worthless. And so as the rebels, I took over the planet. And do you know how you can get rid of sabotage tokens? Be the Imperial player. <laughs> so the whole time I'm like, I hope Brian just removes the sabotage token before I take it over. But of course I wasn't subtle about it because I kept looking at the card and looking at Mon Calmar and be like, Brian, how do you get rid of sabotage tokens? <laughs> <laughs> so surprisingly enough, Brian did not get rid of the sabotage token no. before I took Mon Calmar from it. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> and then everyone died and it was terrible. Yeah, you get Fish Planet. Yeah, I got a useless rock. No, I was going to say, so if you are messaging Brian in the first week of Overwatch and Brian does not respond to you, <laughs> then you know you're not in his top yeah. 15. Yeah, true. The, Very the, true. The sad realization that you are the equivalent of shit in Brian's the second, and only And only as a defensive thing for that, because that's probably true, I'll be honest. When you're in Overwatch, like when, you're, when I'm playing Heroes, you kind of see the chat at a more common pace. But when you're in Overwatch, shit's getting real. I have like I last time during the beta, I was messaged a few times from people. Even when I was playing like with only one or two people, someone asking for a space in the in the in the, in the group, and I didn't see the message because you know the chats flies by a little fast. Yeah. It's not just chat; it's like a lot of alert messages and things going on. So Correct. you know, if somebody just sends you one message. I'm never going to fucking see that thing in the middle of a game because, you know, I'm in the middle of firefights yeah. constantly. Where Heroes is a slightly less intense And you, pace. you PC it? Yeah, I, P, I PC it. Well, yeah. is it on Steam? Or is it so... Oh, no, no, no it's, it's going to be on Battle.net. It's, it's going to be on Battle.net. Yeah. So that's not as hard. But I know, like, Steam, I, I, I will notice, like, two weeks later that I had a message on Steam. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's yeah. so hard to find Steam's. Travis says that he thinks that when the Rebellion take over, the sabotage goes away. But I went and checked on um, on Board Game Geek to see if a, re yeah, it as a Rebellion I could get rid of it, and they all said no. Yep, so. it's, I, I also double checked that because I, I honestly wasn't hundred percent sure. I mean, I knew it, I knew why you were asking, <coughs> but at the time I didn't think it went away, and then I did look it up, and it does not go away. You yeah. broke the planet. You you break things, but you you didn't have a wrench to fix. Yeah, it. we don't know how to. Yeah, we don't know how to fix it. Like there's all these wooden shoes in the cogs, and we're all like, I don't know how to fix that. And my fixed car, I'll, I'll save that for some another place. Well, I because the one the one advantage I had. Fair, I had a brilliant strategy from the very beginning, and I set my game up to do this brilliant strategy. And Brian's like, "That's dumb. You shouldn't do that." And he talked me out of it, and then I lost. Yes. <laughs> oh, like and a you true. Can't, like a you true. can't uh, prove that my strategy was idiotic. You had your it might fleet have been brilliant. Way too near to my Death Star. No, 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 no. It was near enough. It was a couple. You you didn't have the best starting position. I had three planets I could start on. Yes. One was next to like Coruscant in the middle of nowhere, yeah. where I knew you would just annihilate it. One was next to your Death Star fleet and another fleet. Yeah. And so I used the third planet, which was next to yet another fleet, yeah. but it wasn't the Death Star fleet. It was literally your smallest fleet, and it was only one fleet instead of two. Yeah. So I thought I'll take the fight to him. I'll start with all my troops here, and I'll just go at him. And Brian's like, no, you shouldn't do that. You should start with a very small fleet, and then your other guy's in the middle of nowhere, and then he attacked me and well, killed my small split, fleet. He, he splits up between the rebel base and the thing. And honestly... Yeah, fuck like, the rebel base. You were nowhere near him. Well, I mean, I found you and destroyed it later on, but I, that's irrelevant. <laughs> I started... Starting, I didn't know what you were thinking in your head, because starting, starting with the presence isn't the worst thing in that game, but I'm like, man, if he doesn't immediately attack me... On, like, if he, doesn't, if he does anything but attacks me in turn one... I'll have him destroyed by halfway oh. halfway through the turn. Yeah. So I'm like, my plan it, it, was it, to attack. Yeah, turn one. it was it was just your first game. I'm like, man, if he doesn't just go right into me, he's going to lose everything. Because I'm going to I'm going to go into him, you know, halfway through it, and then I'll be like, he'll lose into all of it. Because that would be would have been an unfun thing if I just like wiped out you off the board. You're right. If I hadn't have done what I was planning to do, it would have been terrible. Yes, and I, but I was going to do what I was planning well, to do. Then I but in been okay. fairness, you didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I just didn't want you not to do it and be like, oh, I was going to attack you, and then if I lost the fight, I was going to sabotage the place so you couldn't build reinforcements. Ooh. And it wasn't uh, Mon Calamari, so. I would have still lost. You let the dark side sway you. Well, and <laughs> in fairness, my troops were all just incompetent morons. I attacked Keshek with, you know... 
not 90%, but I attacked Keshik with like 60% odds, like three times and failed all of them. And it was very de- it demoralizing. You had it for a few minutes. I started with it, and then you destroyed everything. <laughs> I said for a few minutes. Yes. Oh, wow. It was a good game, though. Rebellion's fun. Yeah. <coughs> yeah it made me choose between Wedge Antilles and uh, uh, Admiral Akbar, and that made me sad. I don't want to have to choose. It's a, it's a, rough, it's a rough life. I choose Akbar. I chose Wedge. Akbar's going to tell me when there's something wrong. Akbar's planet sucked. <laughs> well, you made it that way. And then I chose a guy because the <laughs> card. Yeah. Did you just throw like a whole bunch of, <clears throat> whole bunch of six pack yeah. rings? <laughs> <laughs> It's a mod collar. Sabotage! Oh no, it's a trap! No. <laughs> no, we just colonized it with Japanese people. <laughs> Dolphins cold. Oh. Uh, that documentary is depressing. That documentary is pretty. Although it's hilarious depressing. at the end where they do the mercury test on the government aid guy. Like they have a rep they have a representative from the government who's explaining why it's not bad that they kill and eat all these dolphins, you know, mm-hmm. and that there's no dangers at all from the fact that these dolphins are really high in mercury because of the top of the food chain in mm-hmm. the, in in the ocean. And you know, low level fish have a little bit of mercury and then the fish above them that eat those fish have an exponential amount. So when you get to the top, these things are basically just thermometers swimming around. And <laughs> Yeah, it's sad that they're killing these dolphins in the cove, but the real thing in that documentary is the fact that, unbeknownst to people, they're labeling it as other fish and then just selling it in the market so people don't know they're eating dolphin meat. And this village is actually using it in their school lunches. And so they take a strand of hair from the government guy and they test it, and he has, like, you know, gonna die in a year levels of mercury poisoning. (laughs) It's like, oh, happy ending. Nice. And then after the credits, they fly a balloon, and it's cute. And on a high note. Yeah. I didn't watch the documentary because I knew it was about it. I'm like, well, I, I know the gist of it. I don't need the details at this particular point. I, I, didn't, I never saw the documentary either. I just know what what goes on in the documentary. It's I've watched enough to press. After I watched Hot, Hot Coffee documentary, I'm like, I'm like, I'm done with documentaries. I get it. We're all fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, get, I get it. There's some happy documentaries, I'm sure. <laughs> Somewhere, yeah. Spinal Tap. American Movie. Yes. American yeah. Movie's great. Well, I guess his uncle does die. A lot of the taboo documentaries were really good during their heyday. As they went on, they got worse. But taboo wasn't a documentary. That was a porn about incest. No. Well, yeah, it was. We're doing different internet searches. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> That's one of those classic 70s porns, like Deep Throat and Debbie Does Dallas. There was one called Taboo, though. It was about mother-son incest. Well, I'm glad I didn't know about it. Okay. I thought you were talking about that one. You just thought it was a documentary. No. Well, Taboo was a inter- uh, National Geographic documentary that started out on, I think, on the Discovery Channel before National Geographic was its own channel. But, like, they started out with, like, a lot of body modification stuff, and then it turned into, like, other cultures and their rites of passage, and then it just turned into weird shit. Cool. Shenanigans. Hmm. So, do we have any? Uh, any you know, do we have more things to go on? Anything else exciting? Hmm. We have Zappies well, and Grumbles. We, we had some Zappies and some Grumbles. I know there was one Andy like that. Yeah, that we wanted to revisit about Doppler barking, right? No, the one that I think it was Zombie Dude. If I recognize that the handle he just posted last week's was it? Was that actually Zombie Dude? The, the like is. It's somebody else. It's, 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 yeah. with, with the with the flip top uh, from um, Mega Man as his icon, yep. I thought that was Zombie Dude. I don't know. I am curious if any, if any of our listeners are going to be playing Total War uh, Warhammer when it comes out. Because uh, my, my hope was the game was going to get bad reviews because I was really afraid of I consumed my time and other reviews have been really, yeah. really good. So now I'm, now, I'm, now I'm screwed. I just can't split my time between two games like that. Like, Well, I see, just, what I'm going to do is I, I'm not going to work for a week and I'm not going to sleep for a week. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to be in great shape next <laughs> Tuesday. Place work with Overwatch and then sleep with Total Warhammer? Yeah, I'm on a very short-term plan. It's not It's not going to end well, but it's going to be fun for the and next And replace stuff. food with cocaine to keep yourself I awake. May, I may have to... Uh, it's a good weight loss r- regimen. Yeah, my no more my no soda. We'll see. We'll see if I can keep my no soda mentality <laughs> going with uh, my game reg- regiment. It's going to be a challenge. It will be very difficult. Just put some coke or cocaine right in the water. That's fine then. There's got to be. I'm going to Google happy documentaries. <laughs> There's got to be happy. There's the one about the lady who who uh, kills herself and her one year old kid. Yeah, I've seen the video. Of the lady who crushes the car of depression and takes it a whole family. 
Yeah. 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 That, yeah, that, one, that one's Jesus great. Jesus Christ. She just, she, just, she gets depressed and just drives on the wrong side of the highway. No, no, not that one. Oh, I did that. This is a different one. Oh, okay. This is like in Canada. There was, like, she went crazy, and so, like, she got arrested or put in an insane asylum, mm-hmm. and then the guy had their, like, two-month-old baby, yeah. and then she got released because laws are terrible, and uh, she just, like, took the kid and then jumped off a bridge. Oh. The end. Everyone's happy. Mm-hmm. So you mentioned uh, the Zombor of Dudingham. I have no idea who that is. The sound, zombie, zombie and dude. dude are literally the two names on that person. <laughs> I don't think that's him, though. You don't think Zomberth Dudingham is Zombie Dude? I, I, if it's not, there's something wrong with the world. That's his. That's his. That's his uh, more fancy name when he goes to more when he, when he dresses up. <laughs> yeah. See, he's Zombie <laughs> Dude at your regular brands, but sometimes he puts on a shirt and tie and a, and, a, and a, you know some pants <laughs> and then. Uh, but he asks, He says this. A former PPS staffer has stated that he is optimistic about Mark Three. Truth or contractually obligated BS? I think people who work there are generally positive about what they're doing, <coughs> and a lot of them recently, recently, people helped work on it. Yep. So I think they feel positive that their influence was felt to some degree. Obviously, different staffers have much different impact on that, and others some some staffers have very little impact on it. But I mean, I'm sure. I mean, all the all feel. the. F- all the former PP staffers that I can think of right now all left on their own recognizance. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's one thing. I mean, former is the key word. They, they don't work for PP, right? Like, correct. They couldn't talk about stuff. You know, they're behind NDAs, but NDAs don't also say, and you have to be really happy about everything ever. Mm-hmm. Correct. Like, they could say, yeah, I wasn't allowed to talk about this, but now that it's publicly known, I think it's going to be shit. Well, you know, or maybe they still live with an, uh, maybe their roommate is a PP staffer, and they have, <laughs> they have to pretend to be positive so they don't get thrown out on the street, you know, just theoretically, not that that's a situation that could occur. <laughs> but I, I think, I think honestly, I mean, people are honest. They're probably going to give you their, their, their honest opinion about it. I don't know. Maybe I'm more optimistic about it, but I don't, I don't <laughs> I mean, I'm opti- I'm I'm going to approach a new edition with optimism. I mean, I'm going to be I'm going to I'm going to be excited. It's new. It's neat. Mark two was better than Mark one. So mm-hmm. and it's they got some of the same people making the game. I mean, I don't see why Mark three shouldn't be an improvement on Mark two. I mean, it might not be. It might be a pile of shit. I don't know. I'm not going to panic or worry about anything I've seen yet until mm-hmm. I can see all of it and then you know also see it and then play a month or two of games and no, then you know you have to judge with no experience yeah. whatsoever that's how things well there, there, there's plenty of that going around the internet i swear to god i just want to mute the internet for three weeks <laughs> but i also want all the spoilers from my it's so terrible i want to mute everything but i want to know everything it's a terrible like double-edged sword yeah well as uh, soon as an insider comes out that's when you exactly know when to dump a faction right yeah yeah when you when you get uh partial information about one-tenth of one model type of your faction, mm-hmm. that's when you decide yep. your life. Yeah. And even people who are seeing all these spoilers, they still haven't seen the core rules. So there's still things we don't. And there's so many things we don't know, and there's all these assumptions we made. And as as games are played, and we just haven't seen a game is being played with this transfer rule <coughs> to War Machine, and seeing how this new balance of jacks versus beasts versus infantry will be on the table. It's a whole. It's going to be months of playing before things settle down. You're going to see yep. so many radically dumb and amazing things in the first few months, and it's all going to be fun. Well, and with a lot of these, the insiders, at least two weeks ago, the insiders dictated people's feelings. Now we've got a lot of other things that are making that happen. But uh, I think the insiders were more like appeal to the mass crowds, right? So like Crix's insider was... a. Uh, Aired more on the side of like negative legion went more on the negative side because those were negative factions for other people playing into them yeah whereas like retribution it was like uh i'm playing against retribution cakewalk round right they were extremely positive so i think those insiders were catered more to appeal to the mass of war machine players more so than just like here's your faction it's going to be super legit yeah yeah maybe yeah <clears throat> But and, and again, like and stuff is like you're saying about like the core rules. Like there's so much we don't know. Even even if every single one of those leaked decks is 100% accurate, and we have all seen all of them, there's still stuff we don't know because of how the core rules affect things. You know, mm-hmm. like one of the, my current examples right now that I'm holding off on judgment on is you know the Jack Marshall thing. One interesting thing that people have brought up is that we don't know. As of this moment, whether war jack points brought by a war caster all have to be spent in their battle group. For all we know, you can bring Sorsha with one token jack and then have have uh, the the 
a man of war Kovnik marshaling yeah. a couple jacks using the points she loaned to well, him. Well, Jack Marshall, I thought like it's one, but but still, you sure. yeah, 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 could yeah. Play, we could still is that we don't know. Yeah, or she, you know, is uh, there Sloan error? can pay? You know, I guess Sloan wouldn't because she's a jack caster, but like uh, uh, some infantry caster in uh, like Storm, Ignar, Storm Knights. S- S- huh? Storm? No, I, what I'm saying is like. Uh, Taking a, an infantry caster who doesn't striker, care about jacks. Striker could use half of his points to pay for something on the journeyman, you know, hypothetically. Sure. I mean, that may not be the case, but we don't know. So, you know, you have to wait and find these things out. Yeah. And then even that, it's like also another factor that changes the meta is the steamroller rules. Steamroller, even when people have lists that are work that work well, a new steamroller could change it what people want to bring. So people <laughs> might go, well, based on the initial feelings that this kind of list is going to work well, but then the steamroller rules come out and they're like, well, I guess that won't actually work well in that steamroller environment, so I have to take it back a step anyway. Yeah, you need, really do need the big picture in order to... Th- and I know that that's like probably one of the most annoying statements that's come out of this Mark III switch is like, I'll be able to look at the whole picture, and then then we'll be able to figure out from there. But it actually is really true. Yeah, fucking earwigs. Is that an that's earwig? not an earwig? That's one of those like uh, what do they call those things? It's the, it's the like this not a silverfish, but like the house centipede or whatever. I don't know no. what those things are called. But literally every building in America has those. You just randomly see them on your ceiling. When I was a kid, I my my that's not a fucking earwig. You know that because I am to earwigs what Brian is to spiders. I would be burning this building down if that was an earwig. I'm because pretty of a clo- childhood trauma. I, had. I don't. I, I just seek them out and find them and kill them <coughs> because when I was younger, my brother and I used to share a room in a two bedroom house when we were, when we were kids. And uh, I ended up moving and setting up in an unfinished basement. Nice. And in that, yeah. <laughs> in that unfinished basement, it was a massive pile of earwigs. And my mom told me a story about how they're called that because they just go in your ears and lay <laughs> eggs. That's what they all say, yeah. And uh, no, for me, it was there was a refrigerator box. So, like I built a refrigerator box fort in our backyard when I was like you know six or some other absurdly young age. Mm-hmm. And uh, I you know put the refrigerator box out there one day, and then. It rained that night, and the next day I went and played in the fort, and apparently earwigs like wet cardboard, and so I went in this fort, and all of a sudden I was being swarmed by, in my vivid memory, literally infinite earwigs. That would and make it was like the scene sense. from Last Crusade, not Last Crusade, Temple of Doom, with all the bugs <laughs> yeah. all over me, and they were all trying to crawl in my ears, and they were all pinching me with their little pinchers, and... They killed my parents, and it was the worst thing. Yep. <laughs> so I just fucking hate earwigs now. Like, I don't just kill them. I grind them until they're a- atomic dust. That's like, the there's thing. no like, residue left. And, I, and, you, and you, you scatter their bodies across the room so other earwigs see it, and they fear you and leave I see it, crucify them, a little earwig <laughs> Spartacus. <laughs> the thing is on the ceiling now. If I see a spider, I'll squish it with some toilet paper no. and throw it in the, in, the, in the toilet paper. Whatever, it's done. No, you fool! How many earwigs would that spider have killed for you? Well, right now I live in a nice dry apartment instead of a moldy, rancid basement. You don't know. <laughs> like, the spiders are your buddies. But earwigs, I will I will crush them and burn whatever I crush them with and then throw I the have a truth outside. with spiders. If, if I see one downstairs like in a corner, I'm like, you can stay there. Yeah. But remember, there's a line in this building. You yeah. cross that line, I fucking murder your family. <laughs> there's also a size limit, like the rides yeah. at Disney World. I'm like, you know, once you're like as big as a knuckle on a finger, like, uh, you have to leave the house. Yeah. I won't kill them still, but I will get, get some Tupperware and throw them in the neighbor's yard. I did yeah. have a spider that lived in my car for a little while and I kept it there just because I didn't have bug problems other than him. I heard about how huntsman spiders like to hide under the, the sun visor in yeah. cars. And that would... I would, I would have a sun visor in a car. Yeah. If it's one of those jumping spiders, I will straight up murder that shit. Yeah, huntsmen, are, they jump. And they're, you know, bigger than your hand. Yep. Th- those they're are like the, these foot across wingspan... I, I think they use... Those, or do they actually use tarantulas in arachnophobia? They use tarantulas. Okay. okay. Huntsmen are very thin spiders. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, they, yeah. they just look like a normal house spider, but a foot across. And apparently they're actually, like, benign. Like, they eat other spiders. So if you hate spiders, you should like huntsmen. But they're gigantic, and they're behind your sun visor. So, of course, you punch them. Yeah, I mean, you look up and you see something crawling, <laughs> you know, inches from your face. You can't react well. Well, that's like those big moths, right? Like those things that are like the size of your head. Like you just want to find a fly spotter and then boom, it's like stardust as soon as you blow them up. I love I love the shot of the huntsman spider that's behind the clock. Oh, yeah. The giant wall clock up on the wall and they just you see like a, a few legs popping out on the side of it. <laughs> on both sides of it. That's Correct. what's terrifying. Yeah, yeah. It's this giant wall clock and there's fingertips on both ends of it. It's like the fuck are you doing being that big? Zappity. <laughs> <laughs> But at least it's not a foot across earwig. That would be rough. Well, well I, I mean, what? Any kind of big earwig or like any of those kind of, any of those kind of 
long screen yeah. scrawly things. They should not be let be big. No, it's only it's only one side of it though. Oh, it is one side. Okay, yeah. fine. Oh, but given the angle, it's the front of it. So those are both of its sets of legs. Maybe that's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. But yeah, Huntsman Spiders, good times. Grumble. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay, because on the flip side, you get jumping spiders wearing water droplets as little hats, and those Is ones it, are adorable. It has moved now? to the other side of the I mean, corner. You've yeah. seen those, right? Well, I mean, we have brown recluse, nice small tigers that when they bite, your, bite you, your skin dies. And I've seen like, brown recluse spider bites are some of the worst things to Google don't, in your life. Don't Google brown no. recluse spider bites. Google jumping spider water droplet hat. Seriously, it's the most adorable thing you will see. Oh, I'll, no, I've, I, I've seen. That's I've a lot, seen of, a that's a lot of, of words. He yeah. can do it. You're talking. You can do it, Andy. I believe in you. It was jumping in water and sprout and sprites. Not, I don't believe it. Any, any of the close-up pictures of the jumping spiders are the best. Yeah, but with the water droplet hat. Yeah, if there's a plushie made out of it, Andy will be all over it. That that is true. I saw a, a, a plushie of an agonizer somewhere. Tuggles. Or, I just... <laughs> Looks like he's pulling on a big old dick. There's yeah. actually multiple Ooh. pictures of the water droplet. Oh, yeah. No, because it's a thing they do. It's not like one random thing. Like, it's part of their mating ritual is they find a water droplet and they put it on their head to impress the ladies. And I don't know if it's on purpose because of the prismatic rainbow thing or if they just like wearing water on their head, but they're fucking adorable. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Or was it, was it Tuggy? I can't remember if it was Tuggles or Tuggy, but we named it. It on Friday, tuggy, I think. Yeah, Tuggy. I do want to get one and put it behind a shredder just for that image. The Agonizer plushie? Yep. I'll say somebody in the chat said they thought it was a mistake they didn't do a field test this time. That person in the chat is as wrong as a human being has ever been. Yeah, I, from yeah. what I hear, the field test was 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 uh, very intense and confusing. three years Three years of gameplay, and then on top of that, all the tournament data that they gathered from... Oh, again. You can get him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, I just feel like the amount of noise to signal ratio had to be garbage. Just absolute ninety percent. If, if of the, the internet, if, if our feed terrible. goes out, suddenly things have gone <laughs> yeah. bad and there's well, a plug swarm. Somebody, us. somebody gets like a it's little jump on his face. <laughs> it will. <laughs> oh, Andy got it. Now he's got to clean his wall. Yeah, but no, the signal to noise was just terrible. <laughs> and I guarantee <laughs> a warning to the other ones. The the. Every single fucking one, you know, was that old cliche people talk about, where like you know, dear privateer press, rock is overpowered. Si paper exactly. is fine. Yeah. Signed scissors. Some wing Nobody nut said, guy. This thing I had is too good, or this thing my opponent has is too bad. It was yep. all my opponent's shit is overpowered and mine is garbage. Exactly. That's not useful feedback. No, I I understand that point. I think like uh. There'd be. I would be like, I'm a troll player. I think poor Scorn needs some help. I don't know. I play Scorn. I beat him too easily. Those Scorn guys could use more things. I just. I feel like a fool because I was playing Cricks at the time, and I was like, you know, maybe Reach Thresher Pitch is too good for Terminus. Terminus, and then it went away. It's a great visual. You can scoot in. I can fit it behind you. Yeah, you can. I'm gonna scooch, scooch, scooch. Scoochy Maguchi. <laughs> oh my God. I, I, it also like you get that emotional response from people too where they like when they lose a game they end up talking about how something is far too overpowered and then you end up getting things like Zerkova maybe yeah yeah oh someone in the chat is saying that the, the, the agonizer was in the pl agonizer plushie I saw was a picture from in a quarter yeah I, I didn't yeah remember. that's where we had made the we made the comment because it looks like he's holding a big old dick and oh. coming Oh, I didn't realize that's why you called him Tuggy. Yeah. I thought it was because he, like, tugged at your heartstrings because he looked sad. Nope, he sure as shit looks like he's stroking a big old dick. Are you sure that's, well, that's not a bad picture? Mm-mm. Yeah, Go it's... ahead and look at it. His belly is, like, portly shaped and, like, a, a dome mushroom. And then his eyes are tilted back in his head and his head is leaning back. Like, somebody designed that shit maliciously. I, I will still buy it. I just thought he tugged at your heartstrings. No, he tugs at that big old belly dick. I misunderstood. <laughs> I missed that. Now you won't be able to unsee it. All right. I don't know if, it, it, if the Google search will actually no, find it's it. Only, it's very rare. It's not that, it's not that yeah. much of it. I, don't know, so I think uh, it's on Facebook somewhere, but I'll, I'll find a link to it and post it. Are we to uh, the recommendations then? Are yeah, we to the recommendations. Sure. Brian, you want to start us off? 
Um, Otherwise, I can start if you're going to. Yeah, go ahead and start. I can't Because mine's kind of silly, but I don't care. Because sometimes there's something on the internet that's adorable and lovely and wonderful and rainbows and bright and happiness, and it hasn't been ruined yet. And so you guys can go ruin it, but please don't. There is a woman named Shirley Curry. Curry, like the food, C-U-R-R-Y. She is a 79-year-old woman who legit, better than me, plays Skyrim. And she has like 200 some plus hour long videos on YouTube of her playing Skyrim. It's like a standard Let's Play, but she's fucking adorable. And if you watch these videos, it's kind of like Bob Ross, you know, that hypnotic, (laughs) just happiness. You're just happy watching this person just do this and just talk about whatever. And it's great. So you should go look up her videos or you just Google 79 year old woman playing Skyrim. You'll find her. I don't think there's a lot of those. And it's just great. She starts every video with hello grandkids because she's recording these so that her grandchildren can watch her play (laughs) Skyrim. It's adorable. And somehow the YouTube comments aren't full of people singing, saying racial slurs and homophobic comments. They're all actually wonderful, supportive people. I saw some video of a somewhat overweight woman doing something and she was kind of like uh, opening herself up in the video and all the comments were nice. I'm like, wow, the internet must have like had an off day because I mean it was a nice video it was fine but I'm just, yeah. it just seemed like the, they weren't the, tearing her it's, it's like that's where the cesspool of yeah. off people would have normally have been and they weren't there it was, yeah. just, it was it was weird to read positive feedback on a, on a thread I was like what's happening well the secondary recommendation is never read YouTube comments ever <laughs> oh, they're <laughs> always yeah. you know oh, they're, they're always right. fucking terrible especially yeah. if you insult Malifo <laughs> it's not always about you <laughs> yeah it's not about you I know it's not about She me. insulted Malfo a bunch in the video I watched. Well, then fine. they should just burn her alive at the stake, right? Yeah, probably. She'll die soon anyway, so yeah. it doesn't really matter. I guess so. But, uh, no, it's great. It's adorable. Just, you know, we all hate our lives and just pray for death daily. So just watch one of her videos and be happy for a brief glimpse on this pointless universe. Sounds like a good recommendation. I, I don't know how legitimate it is, but I remember seeing a video of an old lady that was playing Grand Theft Auto, and she was just running around <laughs> killing people left and right. That's legit. That was one of the Fine Brothers things with the old people that, react to that whatever. That really was? Yeah, so she, she was, was great. Was... Yeah, and she was enjoying it so much. And the other great thing, there was a different one in that same video where she's playing as the guy, and he comes into the house, and there's the lady there, and she's like, who's this lady? I don't know who she is. And then she's like, you're a drunken idiot, and I hate you. And she's like, oh, it's his wife. <laughs> <laughs> No, those videos are great, but now I hate the Fine Brothers. Well, yeah, they're you know. because they tried to sue the world for anyone ever using the word react. They decided that they well, owned the they word tried, react. They tried to make it as a brand name, it failed horribly, and they have they yeah. have changed their tune on that. Yeah, well, they can just go die. But the important yeah. thing is, is this lady's adorable. React videos. I watch. I, I like when when people do the red wedding and they secretly film other people with, for their reactions. Yeah. But what I don't like, and I saw this today, and I'm sure this has been around for a while, people filming themselves reacting to things. Yeah, that's and it's true. Like, wow, you acted all crazy, and you knew you filmed yourself, so I'm sure your reaction was 100 percent genuine. What, what, like yeah. the Star Wars trailers. There were a million of them when the when the when the uh, Force Awakens trailer first yep. hit. People filmed themselves watching it. And that was supposed to be entertaining. Okay. Is you just watching somebody, you know, like literally from the other side of their monitor. So like if I just put a camera pointing at you and you're looking at your monitor just going, oh, and then they just upload it to YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, yeah, the fuck's the point? Drives me nuts. I only ever secretly film people. Yeah, obviously. That's right. High five. I I would have wanted (laughs) to have like a reaction video for like the first time that the RoboCop trailer hit. To have you do that. <laughs> that would have been... But I mean, but if he doesn't know he's being recorded, it's fine. But I mean, if, when you know you're being recorded for a reaction video, you're going to exaggerate to ridiculous levels. Yeah. So, I mean, if, if we... I mean, I think we should secretly record Nathan all the time because it would <laughs> sure. be some good shit there. Sure. But he can I mean... Well, it's kind of like... We I, need a I, am, I yeah. am building Truman up show? an immunity to Dan's mixtapes. And so I'm worried that, like, if we drive down to War Machine Weekend, he'll have a mixtape, and I just won't care, and I'll just have to be like, oh, this is so bad. Oh, darn this song. You know, because you just know, like, that you have to make a reaction. Sure. Or he's going to take it to a different level that you're not expecting. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. He could, he challenged Dan. He just challenged you. He could just play you an audio book all the way down. Yeah, it depends on the book. And then try to hold a conversation when you're trying to have the audio book going. Yeah, that's so I, don't, I, don't, I get I get half of that. I don't get the other half of that. I'm, just, I'm trying to I'm trying to make it down to sleep. Yeah, street. if you're going to play an audio book, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Like, I need to listen. All right, Zavity. Oh, no, no. We're not on Zavity Grumbles. We're not on Zavity Grumbles. Grumbles. I recommended. Were there any Zavity Grumbles in our chat before we move on? I just want to make sure we, don't, we didn't miss Yeah, we don't want to screw them over, right? Did you come up with something yet? I did. Okay, so he's checking. So, so, so 
one of, I, I've been working on this extreme Karchev conversion. And uh, one of the things that I've that I've done that I don't think I've ever really shared with anybody. I don't. I, a lot of people might know this, but some might not. Is that um, green stuff is really good for like making cool little things on your models, but it's like hard to. Sometimes it's hard to work with because it's really like sticky. Mm. So it, it 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 holds its shape really well, but like mm. being able to get it to a point where you work it to you work it where it's it's nice and flat and you have a nice sharp edge and everything's good it's a little rough because it's just so tacky well, so you can get past that with with uh unless you're getting into that part now but go ahead what i was doing was i bought milliput mm -hmm. and i mixed that together because milliput is something that cures to be really really hard and is extremely malleable when you use it but it doesn't stick to shit like, as you're trying to round the corners out, it'll plop off the model while you're using it. So mixing those two together gets you a really nice uh, mix. Well, of course, it's a mix between the two, but, like, you get the best of both worlds. It dries really hard, so where you can actually sand it, where with green stuff you can't. You can sand green stuff. I you think can, it, but I it gets really, it feels really gummy, though. I've, I've been dealing with green stuff for possibly longer than you. Well... <laughs> But I think this this other way works better, where you just mix milliput and green stuff sure. together, and you get the best of both worlds. Whatever works for you. Exactly. Yeah. Also, it, it every time well. you say best of both worlds, I immediately hear Randall saying hermaphroditic <laughs> porn, beautiful <laughs> chicks with dicks that put mine to shame. And we had that conversation on the way to uh, um, <clears throat> the uh, Chicago Guild Ball tournament, where we brought up the whole Buck Angel. What would you rather? Yeah, Buck Angel Bailey J. Yeah, it was really easy answer for everyone in the car. Yeah. So that's my recommendation: mix milliput and green stuff together and get some cool shit. One 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 thing that you could do to help prevent the sticking <clears throat> for, from your tools: um, use a chapstick. I spit on it, but spit spit works fine. But uh, use chapstick on 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 there because that will actually wash off, and it, it will help prevent it from sticking to your tools <laughs> or whatever you're using to to mal mal. Make your forms. Yeah, it also green makes your green stuff go like the extra mile, right? Because milliput's cheaper than green stuff is. So you end up making some money back on it too, even though you spend some up front. Sure, sure. Chris had asked about, uh, about playing Battleborn tonight. That's a, a Zeppity. That's a Zeppity. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm, I don't. I'm going to watch Game of Thrones. It's Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones and yeah. Toppers. Game. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some food after this as well. And then Overwatch. Gonna tomorrow. get my brat and ketchup. My pizza. recommendation's pretty generic. It's uh, buy generic food. Buy generic food <laughs> from your local generic. <laughs> no, uh, I was I I can't recommend any more video games. I've done that a lot lately, so I need to, like take off my video game recommendation. Although I recommend people play Total War Warhammer. That that's only if you want to. That's not a real recommendation. I think people should go outside and enjoy this nice weather we're having. It's my <laughs> recommendation. It's no. Oh, my definition of nice weather is different. It's like, mm -hmm. It was like 75 and just yeah. beautiful. It's it pretty something. good. It would be nice if it was like 63 and dark and raining. Oh, no. It needs to be just nice and we'll go for a nice walk. Do I like I cool. can't disc golf in that. No, that's good. I see. The good thing is a sunny 80 degree day is going to be the correct. When it's nighttime and it's 80, I just want to commit suicide. <laughs> like, you open all the windows or you turn on the AC and you just sit there and your balls sweat and you can't sleep and it's the worst. Is not even worse. <laughs> is just the worst. 90, 90 in Wisconsin is bad. When, you, when it's 90 here, it's humid. Like, you can't avoid humidity in this damn state soon enough. Like we, we only have, like, two good weeks before humidity, humidity I am starts. physically and emotionally and mentally built for 17-degree weather. <laughs> so I just, once it's... 80 i just want to die huh. well there you go well you get a lot but of fun I'm, to... I'm wrong everybody else agrees well, with you i mean that's fine you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna have a lot of fun to dog park this this summer yeah <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. yeah i want to come with you guys when you dog park i i, I used to go to the shades once in a while the dog park it's you like know. I, it's always fun all the puppies running they around took her happy. today and they got like halfway around one lap and she just was like no i'm done with this shit because <laughs> we would throw the ball like we th we know when she's done at the dog park because we throw the ball she runs to the ball and then she runs around with the ball in her mouth and she comes up to it and she trots along but eventually like after a mile or so we'll throw the ball she'll run to it and then she'll just lie down next to it and just wait for us to catch up yeah and yeah that's when we know we're done at the park and she did that like instantly today because it's balls hot she's like, I'm out. and she's wearing a fur coat <laughs> your bus cut Use Nair. 
I'm always weird. Like when I when I when I go to a Shades Dog Park, like when when dogs meet each other, and they sometimes they they jump around a little bit. You know, I'm always like paranoid. Like one dog is gonna just like do something stupid. And I, I, I know dogs are gonna be dogs, so I'm not I'm not even worried about that. But I'm always worried about the other person's owner, because they're either either they're 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 a bad owner who has an aggressive dog. Oh, they're just playing. I know it's just blood, but it's just a little bit of blood. <laughs> or they're super sensitive, and your dog your dog is bigger, goes to the dog, and they freak the complete fuck out. The worst goddamn thing, and this drives Raylene insane, and it drives me insane too now, and it's it's a dog park. Yep. Do you know what you bring to a dog park? Dogs. Children. No, yeah, you bring children. You bring two-year-olds and have your yeah. fucking two-year-old walking around with these dogs. It's like, get your fucking kid out of the fucking dog park, okay? Like, they don't belong. It's not a child daycare, because number one... Kids are weird to dogs. Like, they don't know how to react to them. Like, to us, they're like, oh, it's just a young person. To dogs, they're weird because they don't behave the way they expect things to behave. And also, are you fucking psychotic? All it takes is one dog biting once and your kid is dead. Fucking dead. Why or, would you or do that? Horribly misfigured. Just, I mean, just, horribly just fucking disfigured. don't. It's not, the, it's not the park. It's the dog park where dogs are. You fucking assholes. Yep, I can see that. I can completely yeah. see that. I would. We were walking. So we were walking Kaya around like an outer track. And, and the thing is, if your dog would bite a kid, it would be your fault, not oh, the absolutely. fucking, not the parent who brought the kid there. That's that's. We were walking her around this outer track, and these people are coming up this the outer track also, and so with their like two year old, and so we decided to start cutting. Oh no, we were on the inner track, and they're coming up the inner track, and so we cut out to the outer track so that we can pass them. And they're like they see us, and we know they're like, oh, let's go have our two-year-old go interact with that strange animal that eats living creatures that she's never interacted with. So they changed their fucking path to come up onto the outer path where we were. It's like, you sons of bitches. We obviously detoured to avoid you. Yeah. And so the two-year-olds are bad, and then you have, like, ten-year-olds, and ten-year-olds are almost worse because they just shriek and run in random directions because they're cartwheeling around the park, and that just freaks all the dogs out. Keep them at home, you asshole. You should give them a sign that says, you should, you should put a sign outside that park. This is a dog park. Keep your fucking kids out of here, you <laughs> goddamn fucking cunts. We, we, almost verbatim, we saw signs like that online that some states literally put in their dog parks. Like, it just says, children are not allowed. Keep them at home. This should is be. for dogs, and your kids will fuck their, up their brains, and someone's going to get hurt. And it's your fault, but the dog gets killed. It's the fucking worst. Yeah, no, I can see that. Oh, I'm glad I brought that up. I don't have a recommendation, but I, I think I'm in the same boat as Nathan. I think I am almost done with The Blacklist. Yeah, I actually I'm, stopped watching The Blacklist. I, I watched halfway through the year. I got to a point where a major plot point got revealed, and I'm like, you know what? That's good enough for me. Yeah, <laughs> That's good enough. I enjoy what it was, but I'm done. So what got me this time around, besides all the bad cop work and all that, what got me this time around, okay, somebody uh, brought somebody into a van. Okay, she's in the van. Uh, she gets choked from behind. You figure with like a garrote or something like that, that yeah. they're hard to get around. But she's being choked by a plastic bag. Okay. Okay, and her hands are moving. Yeah. I'm being choked by a plastic bag. You know what I'm going oh. to do? <laughs> oh, I'm not being choked anymore. Now you have a plastic bag. Yeah. Yeah. You have a broken plastic bag. No. No, she died. People are dumb. <laughs> and then later in that same fucking episode... How many, how many times have you, I don't know if this is maybe how I wasn't raised. If you're going to cook waffles. All right, so we're still going in a weird direction. If you're <laughs> going to cook, if you're going to cook frozen waffles, like yeah. Eggo waffles, how do you cook them? In a fucking toaster. Yeah, I put, put them in a toaster. A, in a toaster? Yeah, and then yeah, they pop no, up and I eat them. No, you put them on an iron skillet. Did somebody get, like, their face shoved at an iron skillet because so, they were cooking waffles? Or just this annoyed you because they were just making it, waffles it was, wrong? It was annoying to me because she was... It was the main character of the story. She, well, like, they did They did call the main character she, of the show. She, so she I, heats I up a cast problem. iron skillet to, to, make, cook, what, to cook frozen egg waffles. Wait, they killed off the main character? Yeah, she's dead. That chick? What? Yeah, she's dead. They killed off the main character. You guys, oh, I'm, you not, I'm not up to that point yet. <laughs> you said you were... You both said you were done. I am no, no. done. I said I was almost done. Oh, well, That's you're done now. Who the fuck else? She's still done. Why did they do that? <laughs> they, got, they got another girl running around now. <laughs> they got what? They got another girl running around. They just injured... So they, like, you know, uh, David Spader... Uh, not David Spade. Yeah. David J Spade? Yes, yeah. <laughs> David Spade. <laughs> that would be a better version of Black. But no, James Spader just has a new pseudo daughter running around? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> now the main character. She's been dead for she's been dead for like three years. She's been dead for like a month and a half, two months now. <laughs> I now I, if I she should... comes back, I mean, it is a show that someone could come back. But I thought they made her death pretty like dead, dead. But you I, know, 
I will Sorry, say this, though. Yeah, spoiler it, tort, the Blacklist is terrible. Stop watching it. Also, don't watch Gotham. It's terrible. <laughs> I have I have been... This has been sitting on my DVR for, like, a long time, yeah. too. So I just decided today... I, I started marathoning through them. But, yeah, choking with, with a goddamn plastic bag. Like, no, I, I prevent that. And... Cast iron skillet and waffles, and then and she starts a fire as well. Tort, tort. He didn't say waffles are bad. Just you don't cook them. In, I think. I think all of us would say waffles are good. We just don't cook them in, a, in, a, in that method. No, you, if they're frozen yeah. waffles, if they're frozen waffles, you cook them in a toaster. Yeah, exactly. From freezer to toaster. That's freezer what to you toaster do. to mouth. Yeah, freezer toaster. That's how they're designed to be made. Correct. That's the only reason I have a toaster is for waffles. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> You don't take 15 minutes to heat up an iron skillet and then I throw a waffle in there. I'm hungry yeah. for waffle. It would probably I'm... burn and be cold in the middle still, too, like exactly. a gas station yeah. burrito. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They're designed for the toaster. Right. And, and if you're making waffles from scratch, they go to waffle maker to mouth. Yep, waffle yeah. maker. Belgian waffle, waffle I've almost maker. bought it. Well, I, I haven't bought one because I'm afraid I would just eat so many fucking waffles. Like I, would be, I don't want a bread maker because I'm trying to lose weight. And if I, if I had a waffle maker, it would just destroy me. Because, my God, I wouldn't need to buy anything else but waffles. Brilliant like, made dinner sure. tonight, and she made... So it was chicken that was wrapped in croissant yeah. as the entree. Then there was a big slice of cheese bread from the farmer's market as a side dish. And then the third, the other, the third thing on the plate was corn, which is also great. So it was literally bread, bread, and more bread. It was bread three ways like some Iron Chef challenge, and that's all I ate for dinner. And it was delicious, <laughs> but I looked at it, I'm like, this is why I'm fat. The farmer's market sells cheese bread. I thought the farmer's market just sells, like, tomatoes and, no. like, vegetables. Every, like, half a block, there's a donut stand. I might have to go to this farmer's yeah. market. Dude, this <laughs> cheese bread is to fucking die for. It's spicy cheese bread. That it, yeah, it's the reason you go. It's always the most... It's the biggest and busiest booth every single time. Oh, I might have to go. The, I might have to go there next weekend. I mean, I, I'm. A, I, I once went to a farmer's market where they sold like 13 different kinds of barbecue sauce. That's oh. pretty intense. Hey, there's cheese stands all the way too. People who make their own cheese. Mm -hmm. Man, yeah. I am. I'm just, you just blowing yeah. my mind. You walk, yeah. pa you walk past all the veggies and you just get the cheese and meat and and there's and, meat and donut. And yeah. Yeah. What is going it's, on? It's more I thought it was just like just <laughs> someone selling corn by the bushel and tomatoes by the bushel and some there's carrots. Those people, but there's also people who raise their goats and then either make cheese or meat out of them, and people oh. who raise their cows and either make cheese or meat out of them. And so then there's the Jesus. farmers market down yeah, on the square. Capital square. Yeah, and there's like seven seven different bakeries then they make different like there's ones that make like the traditional amish like cake donuts and there's ones oh, that have like fucking yeah i got a, I got a cherry awesome fritter yeah. a cherry fritter i've only ever had an apple fritter it said cherry fritter i'm like i fucking love yeah. cherries and i ate it and it was delicious that's a, I'm, you don't want to lose weight if you go down there. No, the farmer's market is a trap. It is not just Well, vegetables. I won't eat Friday. Now you know, because you were probably going to get to the point of losing weight. You're like, I should go buy a cucumber from the farmer's market, yeah. and then you would have just eaten all the donuts and ruined <laughs> everything. At least now you know. I've mentally prepared myself. <laughs> Interesting. I learned a lot. Yeah, it's Saturday morning. Is yeah. It? Yep. Or Sunday morning. I think it's Saturday morning. I, I don't know. I think know. it's what, 5 a.m. It's whenever Raylene forces me to go. Okay. <laughs> It's Contact me next time. I'll go. Yeah, yeah we can all go. Crippled I'm intrigued. System recommends. Crippled System market. goes to the coast. To the <laughs> I mean, we we can film it, too. We'll film it. Wander around. This cheese bread is glorious. Could you just walk around with a bucket of uh, Brian egg crackers Ooh. and hand those out instead? <laughs> you, you could <laughs> open, open up your oh, stand. You yeah. Yeah. Space. Yeah. Food <laughs> space or bartering. <laughs> fresh, uh, no, uh, fresh eggs. Is or, organic <laughs> artisanal crackers and eggs. <laughs> Twenty dollars a serving. No, yeah. You could go down to the other booths and buy your eggs yeah, right get, there, yeah, and then the just egg. crack them open into a bucket, and like, and then just go buy crackers, crack them open into the bucket, and then mix. Yeah, and you're like, all right, for sale. All right, I got myself some Game of Thrones. Yeah, we gotta time. go. Well, this was yep. fun. Uh, I probably won't be here next uh, next Sunday, by the way, Andy. I'm telling you on air, guys. Uh, I will Sunday? be. I'm telling you yeah. on air also. We, we we're gonna be here. Um, Brian, special. will you be here? I'll be here. So, Special okay, event I'll be here. coming on the 4th of June. Yeah. The last podcast before all of us are gone. Yeah. I won't uh, be gone. No, you'll be matters, here for that. But, but uh, there'll be the all-female podcast. Why again. wouldn't you do that when we were all gone? Wouldn't that make perfect sense to do that on the next week when literally all of us are gone? I cannot control their schedules. You can record Fair it. You can, you can really hold, hold on it. You can get we, it in the bucket. You know, the, you know the, the best thing that we could do is, yeah, we could probably record ahead of time and then release them so we don't have but to worry don't about tell people. So don't, don't tell, tell anyone. So oh, yeah. they'll still <laughs> chat yeah. and be like, these bitches aren't responding, Miss Andre. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got to go. All right. <laughs> It's fun times. Bye, everybody. Bye. Because we didn't watch it 10 hours ago. King's Moot!
Thank you.